Hey guys, welcome back. This is Shiro Sagi, and this is, I believe, part 24 of Corpse Party. It's been a while that I've played. I'm very sorry about that. I've been busy, but back to business. Let's find, there's a paper here with my bloody butt. Strange but true, stories of the occult, chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Part 3 by Cole Kibiki. Things have taken a truly frightful turn, dear readers. I stand now at the brink of a new age for the occult world. Nothing will ever be the same again. I wonder if it will even be possible to convey in words the significance of where I'm standing at this very moment. Prepare yourselves for a report unlike any other, for I am presently within the accursed school building, inside Heavenly Host Elementary. Spooky. And it's all thanks to my highly skilled protege, Naho Sayanoki. Many of you know the name. She has the ability to commune with spirits, and it's through these connections that a way has been devised. A means of accessing the sacred ground. Together with my faithful cameraman, Taguchi, I have made use of this method to see these cursed halls with my own eyes. I have set foot into a school building that should no longer exist. A forbidden land of the dead. In addition to this article, Taguchi and I will also be capturing ample video footage. We have no clear plan of attack, so we'll simply re explore and record. What will become of us in these dilapidated halls? What secret will we uncover? What will we be able to learn the truth of what happened here? It may seem odd in such macabre surroundings, but I can't help feeling excited about what awaits us. Surely, dear readers, you can relate. Really? No, we can't. We've never done this before. I sincerely hope you will be anticipating my next installment with bated breath. For now, however, I must put down my pen. There is work to be done. I must gather evidence of this remarkable excursion, for soon I shall be regarded as a living witness to the dead, which is a great idea. Everybody should try it. Now who's mentor, the occult writer? Cole Kibiki, investigative reporter. In as much as you can call someone that at a spook mag, anyway. Guess he's in here somewhere, too. Don't want to speak ill of him, but he always seemed to think of Naho as his cash cow. He obviously came here solely to get his hands on a big scoop. That man would wake the dead if he could write about it afterward. So he's a sellout, motherfucker. I didn't realize that girl with the dead fish eyes had a mentor. Kibiki's choice of words in this article suggests he came here of his own volition. Naho made it sound the same way for her, too. Then there's that first blue ghost we spoke with. He said we were all trapped here by the curse of the children. But the little girl, Yuki, she said she wasn't responsible. So that leaves only one possible explanation. We're here because we flubbed the Sachiko Ever After charm. The sole reason we're all being put through this hell is because we're angered Sachiko. If only I'd paid more attention to Naho's blog entry. If only we'd performed the charm successfully. Shinozaki, don't blame yourself. You didn't know this shit. I, I just... I just thought that we could be friends forever. How was I supposed to know something was horrible would happen if we failed? What the hell can a charm as a risk like that anyway? In all my time dealing with this stuff, I've never... Don't beat yourself up, Shinozaki. This came out of left field. None of us could have possibly known. God, you're supposed to be my friends. I'm I'm so sorry, everyone. Suzumoto, Shinohara. Well, you also don't know that Marishige is dead, but, you know, we get the gist. It's, it's all my fault. It's because of me. No, it's not. It's because somebody... I don't think it was her that fucked it up. I think somebody else fucked it up and sent them all here. I wonder if we ever find that out. Shinozaki... Okay, so let's have a look around. We go this way? Nope. And this is the sealed evil door of hell basement. I wonder if we ever get to go down in there. I bet we will. La 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 la. What's down here? Some skelly bones. Spoofy. What's in here? Okay, so... Oh, I found a thing. There's a small notebook on the floor here. Pick it up? Of course. What it, is this? I'd recognize its signature anywhere. This is Naho's. Oh, that's cute. I want that notebook. Acquired Naho's notebook. 
Findings, it says. I don't mean to pry, but I'm really curious. Ayumi flips open the notebook, only to find it's more like a miniaturized three-ring binder. I had one of those in high school. You could put all your notes and shit in it, your address book. It was great, but I don't see people with those anymore. A few papers are still inside, covered with hastily scribbled words, but there's space for many more. Naho's notes, one out of five. Examination of sacred spaces, file one. Ghost therapy, heart surgery reward. Investigation pending. Examination of Sacred Spaces, File 2, K Prefecture, Heavenly Host Elementary School. Investigation in progress. Method of ingress obtained. Requires two or more participants. Method of egress obtained. Will need to gather more information and plan very carefully, but it can be done. Encountered fierce spiritual re resistance while simply researching the Shinozaki estate. Right side of body paralyzed, left eardrum ringing, orbs visible in photographs, influence confirmed. Severe dizziness, nausea, and bloody BM experienced. Symptoms persist for weeks. Jeez. Significant dangers clearly present. Next investigation will place others at risk. Maybe best to leave Mr. Kabiki behind. Seems he returned empty-handed again today. How many times has that happened with this publisher? He writes such interesting pieces but never receives due credit. They're too deft. They don't appreciate him. Poor guy can't catch a break. But all that will change which is once his next serial is published. I'll do everything in my power to help him get the recognition he deserves. Naho would frequently post these examinations of sacred spaces on her blog. This must be some of the data she collected for it. Never thought I'd be reading her next update like this, though. I wish I could have met her under normal circumstances and made friends with her or something, and had her pass me this book so I could read over the next update with her blessing instead of just finding it. Naho has always been my hero, the person I've admired most. Aww. I would actually feel really like if somebody I looked up to like that died and like this, I would also, yeah, I, I, I feel her on a personal level. Entry into the Empire of Japan secret intelligence base is strictly forbidden. Expulsion to all trespassers. This crazy shit again. I don't know why it's saying all that crap about the Japanese intelligence. What was this note say? I am one of those. I'm not a completionist per se, but I like to read all the notes. Closet trespassers will be expelled. Well, that's so it's a she and Naomi. They went in the closet. Unless it has another meaning. Alrighty, so we go through here. Let's see, what, this is the only way we can go. Oh, it's paper! What's this? Some loose pages from Nahu's notebook like, lie haphazardly spread out on the ground. Nahu's notes, two out of five. I had a final exam today, so I went to school for the first time in quite a while. Seems while I was gone, Katie he came here to Heavenly Host without me. It's too dangerous. We don't have enough data, he said. I'm trying to justify why he's skulking to the sacred ground behind my back. His assistant, Taguchi, must look, most likely put him up to it. I did give him all the details on how to return home from here, and it's a fairly simple process, but I can't help worrying about him nonetheless. At any rate, the blog's been updated, and I do feel bad about tracking my friend Sayaka into this. But it's time to dive headfirst into these trenches and really figure out what this place is all about. What's this? Blood? Naho. What could have happened to her before she died here? Okay, so... We are... Cruising. Is there anything over here? No, it's blocked. It looks like we should... Switch parties because it's as far as I'm allowed to go. Oh, hi. Hi, Satoshi. We wandered the halls for a while, searching for any sign of Yuka. In doing so, we found that the path leading to the second building had finally opened itself back up again. You weren't kidding. A whole other wing? It's kind of terrifying. Will you be alright in there now, May? I mean, I'm scared too, but still. I'll be okay. Well, this place does make people's head hurt and stuff, but I don't know. I'm sure everything's going to be fine as long as the two of us stick together. We'll manage. Yeah, we will. 
As long as it's two of us stick together, huh? There's that tinge of regret again, boring into my heart like a drill. You don't care about anyone's feelings but your own. Seiko's last words still echoed in my ears as if I'd only just now heard them spoken. Naomi, it's all right. It's not your fault. Satoshi did everything he could to make you feel better. But it's obvious what happened. Her shoes were so neatly lined up in front of that skull. She knew what she was doing. It was clearly suicide. And I drove her to it. My angry outburst resulted in my best friend killing herself. What else could it have been? Whoever she is right now, Seiko is furious with me. She has to be. Alright, now we're in creepy second building. Don't worry, we'll find Yuka. I know we will. Let's see, the darkening has already begun. That's not good. That's blocked, so we gotta go this way. Hello there. Oh, uh, uh, what is it? It's a body. <laughs> My god, this is unconscionable. Unconscionable. There are stab wounds. Whoever did this clearly enjoyed it. Oh, he did. He so did. He, he looks like he was just killed. Like, just killed. Yeah, he does. Ah, Satoshi, look. Are those... Acquired Yuka's shoes. No, no, please. She got kicked out of her shoes, literally. <laughs> Satoshi... There's no mistake. I see these every morning. These are Yuka's shoes. <gasps> My god. Urgh, urgh. What the hell? What the hell happened here? God damn it. Owie. Uh, I'm all bloody. And where are my shoes? Aren't you just precious? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who are you? Are you the one who saved me? When I was running from the scary man? <laughs> hmm? You're so cute. I just want to mess you right up. Huh? Will you listen to what I have to say? Um, sure, I guess I can do that. I'm afraid of ghosts, but somehow you don't seem that scary to me. <laughs> <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to, little girl? I'll wring your damned neck just to watch you squirm. Beep! Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ain't good, because Sachiko's a psycho bitch. Boys lavatory. Any and all students responsible for damaging these facilities would be recommended. Okay, that was already there. Do, 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 do. Oh, cutscene. Oh, what the... What the hell is up with this building? Everywhere you look, there's blood. Kizami's like, thank you, you're welcome. Glad you liked my decor. <laughs> Wait, what's this? It's a phone. It's more Shige's cell phone. Video saved to memory. What did he record? Oh, wait. No. Ah, ah, ah. He's screaming. Screaming insanely and slamming shit around and laughing. More laughing and slamming. What are you? What's going on? I think he. I think he lost his mind and he's calling for Mayu with frantic laughter. This ain't good. This is not good. And he shattered something. No, God, please, no more of this. He's probably dead. It's more Shige's blood spattered cell phone. Let's take it. His body is not anywhere here, so. I guess that's a good thing, but he could still be alive, but I highly doubt it. Alright, let's go through... 
upstairs, all the way upstairs, and work our way down. That's a good way to start. And this is the principal's office. The door is locked. Well, that sucks. I wanted to go in there and see what's going on. Alright, let's go in here. I guess it's the only way we can. Some blood on the floor and... Oh, I know. Let's read the note. Believe the girl. What girl? There's a lot of girls. I haven't... Okay, this is shit. This is just the closure notice. Not important. So let's go and see what's on the other end. There's a creepy statue. I think these are locked, because these were locked before. So let's just keep moving on and go downstairs. Downs. Okay, let's see this way. Some dead body. Oh, that's rubble. I'm like, why can't I move? There's a music room, but I think we took care of that one already. Wait, what's up here? The door is locked. Of course it is. Everything's fucking locked. This, I think, leads to the other side of that busted shelf. Yep. Can't go anywhere past this point. So we walked around the whole school for no fucking reason. Except for the phone. Well, there's that, I guess. So let's go back to the beginning. And save. Because there's a candle over there. Why not? Oops. Not, this is just one big wild goose chase. I don't even have to look anywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something, but I'll find I'm sure I'll find out eventually what it was. Because everything's locked and I only found a cell phone and I'm blocked from going the other way. We'll figure this out. Almost to the front. I want to know what believe the girl means. Alright, let's save. Take your time. Save current game data, yes. Alright, so that was part 24 of Corpse Party. If you liked the video, if you like Corpse Party, give it a like. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. Always appreciated, and then you can be updated on my next posts. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching me and dealing with me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.